uh, a big theme of today was was upwind sailing, uh, and mainly because it was it was offshore. The wind um, was offshore, so it was quite tricky to get back to the beach. So I was really encouraging people that I was teaching today to stay upwind, um, raking that that sail back, getting the body forward, and um, keeping a vision, looking upwind. Um, which everyone definitely by the end of their sessions managed to do, which was really cool. Um, there was a moment in the middle of the day, and I was teaching this uh, a one-on-one -on -one with this uh, young girl, and she was uh, just having a bit of a refresher session. So she was just getting getting back into it for the season, and um, um, and there was a point where we ended up quite far downwind, and normally uh, I could either use the kayak. I'd either switch out with with the person I'm teaching, get them to kayak in because kayak is super simple. But I was actually out on kit at the time. We ended up going quite far downwind, uh, and I needed to tow her back. And I didn't have any rope or anything with me, um, which I probably should have brought out with me. But um, I what I did was I got the uphaul from my my kit. Um, I attached it to uh, the back of my board and the front of uh, hers and um, use it as a bit of a tether and I was sailing, I was windsurfing um, upwind with her behind. Uh, originally she just had the, the, the kit on the back um, and I just got her to sit down and I would sort of tow upwind. And then after a while I thought it was a good idea to maybe test out, uh, see if she could actually um, lift up the rig and actually have a go behind me, sort of um, just still on the tether though. Uh, and she, she lifted up the rig and it just works so well, having a, it, having the bungee as well as a tether, so it's not too sort of jolty, it kind of cushions the, the pull a little bit. Um, yeah, I felt actually having having a tether really, really worked really well and being so, so close, uh, she could kind of like I imitate me by, by watching exactly what I was doing. Whenever she um, would either drop the sail or lose control, I was there, the tether could keep her uh, going on course, um, which which has helped really well. It means that she wasn't going to drift downwind, uh, and it meant that we could both go upwind together nicely and efficiently. Um, if she dropped the sail, then I could just slow down um, and even tow the kit back to her if she was a little bit far away from the kit. So, really, it just it's a bit of a bit of a coaching point for me. I just learned that. That's a really good good way of doing it, especially if it's one on one. It seems quite easy, and I'm sure you could actually build up a line of tethers uh, where you could have sort of multiple people on the back. Um, obviously, it does get harder with the more and more people that you do have, but um, but uh, it's definitely not out of the question, and uh, it definitely definitely did work with uh, with the one on one.